What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're going to be talking about aggregate functions in SQL Server. And aggregate functions are very simple. They're not complicated at all. And they're, it's not so much that aggregate functions are important. It's what you can do with aggregate functions that are going to be important. And they're just kind of the way that they sound. You are combining things you are combining records or not columns you're combining whole entire records so just never type out my advice is never type out a select statement when you can easily just right click right here go down to select the top 1000 rows and we're just going to go into our order items and um manipulate some of these tables so like i said you're aggregating records you're not or uh, you're going to take all of these records for a certain column unless you do unless you manipulate them in some other way but you when you do an aggregate you're going to take the sum the average or the max or the min of whole entire rows and um, aggregate functions this right here is all of the aggregate functions that you're ever going to see you'll see sum, you'll see average you'll see max you'll see min you'll see count and that's pretty much it like if you just type in aggregate functions on google and get like the first ones that's all you're there are more complicated ones but you're never really going to see them so i'm not gonna you know even go over you know anything that you're not going to see but probably the best way to learn aggregate functions is to kind of just um do this right here or this is the the way that i learned them so let's just say we're going to take in the sum of our list price and like I said, I didn't actually type out that select statement. All I did was I went to the select the top 1,000 rows. I went ahead and I just deleted all this right here. We don't have that many t uh, rows so we, or records, so we don't have to actually worry about um, get, getting too many. And we'll just do sum first. So we'll go sum list price and we'll go as and we'll alias it. And so it doesn't have like an, a really ugly table name and we'll go ahead and execute it. So all that happened was it went through and it added all of the columns together. That's um, pretty much all that it did. If you want to see what your old table looked like, you can go back, you can go ahead and delete that, go ahead and delete that and we'll go. So we just did some easy enough, right? So let's go ahead and let's do the average. Actually, I'm just gonna go back. Um, you can control Z and you can go back and we'll go ahead and let's just do this. I think that, that this is probably a better idea. We'll go and we'll do the list price. We'll do the average list price. And we'll just type in AVG just like that. And we need to delete that asterisk because it's gonna give us the wrong. And I also need to put a comma right there. So your sum and your average are always going to be after your select statement. And your goal, like I said, these um, aggregate functions are going to be done on rows usually. So we'll go through here and once again, we get the average. So then we'll go do the max. Go up here and put in our table. Just in case you don't know what the list price is, I assume if you've gotten thus far into uh, these courses, you probably are relatively familiar. And let's go see what happens. Let's see what happens when we do max. If you don't know what as is, as is an alias. As means we are going to create, uh, we're going to give our columns really pretty names. <laughs> So as, if we don't have the as there, watch what happens when you don't have the as. Or let's do it on the max. Watch what happens when you don't, when you do it. It, says, it just says no, no column name. Like I said, um, just makes it look a little bit better. So we have max right here. Just like before, went through, added all of the table names. So we're gonna go, then we're gonna go down and we're going to do price. We're gonna give it a nice little pretty name. And while we're down there, let's go ahead and actually I'm gonna talk about count separate because count's kind of important. 
So a lot of times you're gonna see count, and count is counts the number of rows selected. So if we got if we typed in count and we just added all of the columns, um, watch what happens when we just put this. This is kind of cool. We just do the star. We get 4,722 rows, and when we do count, that's what it's basically going to do. And we can give it a nice little pretty name as row count. Hopefully that'll work. Um, Yeah, well, we had to put brackets around it. If you don't put brackets around it, it will give you give an error. So that is pretty much for aggregate functions. Very simple. Uh, not a lot to even talk about. What's really important about aggregate fun aggregate functions is what you do with them in the next lesson. Anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.